A Japanese man has been sentenced to life imprisonment for the rape and murder of British national Lindsay Ann Hawker. Tatsuya Ichihashi buried the naked body of 22-year-old Lindsay Ann in a sand-filled bathtub before she was discovered in 2007. Ichihashi went to great lengths to avoid detection, including mutilating his nose to change his appearance. It was a visit to a plastic surgeon that brought about his capture when the doctor contacted police. The case has been attracting massive media attention for years. Ichihashi was mobbed after his arrest in 2009. He changed his appearance with extensive cosmetic surgeries to try and avoid detection. Tatsuya Ichihashi, the Lindsay Hawker case. The circumstances surrounding this crime were so unprecedented, calculated, and chilling that it sent shockwaves through two nations, uniting them in a shared sense of horror and grief. At its center was Tatsuya Ichihashi, who, in a desperate attempt to conceal his true identity from the world, resorted to drastic measures, including self-inflicted facial deformities. This is the tragic tale of Tatsuya Ichihashi and his victim, Lindsay Hawker. Lindsay Hawker, a bright and promising young woman from Coventry, England, embarked on a journey to Japan in pursuit of adventure and cultural enrichment. Born on December 30, 1984, Lindsay was the beloved daughter of Bill and Julia Hawker, with two sisters named Louise and Lisa. She excelled academically, studying biology at the University of Leeds, where she graduated with first-class honors in 2006. Despite her academic achievements, Lindsay possessed a spirited sense of adventure and opted to take a gap year to explore the world before pursuing further studies. In October 2006, she embarked on this journey by enrolling in the prestigious Nova Teaching School in Japan, a coveted opportunity that led her to the vibrant city of Tokyo. Nova Teaching School, Japan's largest private English school, recruited adults from around the world to teach the language in cities like Osaka and Tokyo. Securing a spot at Nova was considered prestigious, and Lindsay was fortunate to be selected for this opportunity. Upon her arrival in Tokyo, Lindsay was assigned to Koiwa, a lively district nestled within the Edegoiwa ward. She quickly found comfort and excitement in her new surroundings, which were brimming with cultural experiences and vibrant attractions. Koiwa's proximity to popular destinations like Akihabara and Asakusa added to its allure, offering Lindsay a plethora of activities to explore. However, seeking more affordable accommodation, Lindsay eventually relocated to Chiba, a neighboring area known for its lower rental costs. There, she shared an apartment with two fellow teachers, forging relationships that would soon become integral to her life in Japan. Shortly thereafter, Lindsay's time in Tokyo seemed to accelerate. Despite her enjoyment of being away from home, thoughts of her loved ones lingered. With a caring family, a large circle of friends, and a boyfriend in England, Lindsay maintained contact through various means like Facebook, Skype, texts, and calls. It was six months into her Tokyo adventure, March 2007, when Lindsay experienced an uncomfortable encounter. After finishing work and returning to Chiba Station to retrieve her bike, she was approached by a man who claimed she was his English teacher. Confused, Lindsay declined to engage further, but the man persisted, following her as she attempted to leave. Despite her efforts to shake him off while cycling through Chiba's maze-like streets, the man, Tatsuya Ichihashi, son of a dentist and medical doctor from Ichikawa, Chiba, caught up to her. He proposed that Lindsay teach him English, but she declined due to feeling uncomfortable and left promptly. Tatsuya persisted, waiting outside her apartment for a week, but Lindsay remained uninterested. Feeling unsafe, Lindsay moved to a new apartment with limited disclosure of the address, only inviting friends and family to visit. Tragically, Lindsay's efforts to distance herself from Tatsuya proved futile. On March 25, 2007, Lindsay hosted a barbecue for her new work friends, Angela and James. Shortly thereafter, 
Lindsay vanished without a trace. Concerned by Lindsay's sudden disappearance, Angela alerted the authorities, sparking a frantic search for the missing teacher. The police visited Lindsay's apartment and questioned her neighbors. One neighbor reported hearing a scream around the time of her disappearance. Consequently, the police entered Lindsay's apartment forcefully to search for clues. Inside, they discovered a trail of blood leading to a bolted door, indicating Lindsay's attempt to secure herself inside. The apartment revealed a blood-stained futon and two bags containing Lindsay's personal belongings, but no trace of her. Subsequently, a search party was called in. A few days later, a security guard at Tokyo Station observed a white van leaving the car park and tracked it to an industrial estate in Ichikawa, Chiba. Upon approaching the van, he discovered Lindsay's lifeless body in a sand-filled bathtub, showing signs of strangulation, assault, and sexual abuse. More disturbingly, a large pot plant nearby concealed Tatsuya Ichihashi, who had been hiding there for almost two days. Ichihashi claimed to have witnessed Lindsay's murder by two unidentified men, but the police doubted his account and took him into custody. The ensuing trial garnered media attention, painting Ichihashi as a monster, leading him to become a fugitive as the police launched a nationwide manhunt. Over the next two and a half years, Ichihashi evaded capture by hiding in internet cafes, working on construction sites, and hitchhiking across the country. However, on November 10, 2009, he was apprehended in Osaka while attempting to board a ferry to Okinawa. During his arrest, he attempted to bite off his own tongue to avoid identification through dental records, but he was ultimately charged with Lindsay's murder. Here to get justice for my daughter. It has been a long time coming and we are looking forward to getting justice. I cannot say anything other than that because so much work has gone into the judicial system. It would be wrong of me to comment beforehand. The purpose is to remind everybody, both in Tokyo and also, that our daughter's murder is still out there. We're very concerned that he hasn't been caught. We're very concerned that he might do this again. He has ruined our family. We would not like to see other families put through what we have been through. And, and to say, please keep looking. It will only take one lead to find this man. And if anybody's watching this and is protecting him, don't protect him. He doesn't deserve protection. He needs to be brought to justice for what he's done. Tatsuya's arrest marked the beginning of an intense legal battle, during which he confessed to the heinous crimes committed against Lindsay. Despite his claims of accidental manslaughter, the prosecution argued that Tatsuya's actions were premeditated and fueled by a sinister motive. Following a brief trial, Tatsuya Ichihashi was found guilty of Lindsay's murder. Despite pleas from Lindsay's family, Ichihashi was sentenced to life imprisonment on July 21, 2011, as the court deemed him potentially rehabilitatable due to his lack of prior convictions. It was a packed house at Chiba District Court in Japan Thursday. People had gathered to catch the wrap-up of one of the country's highest-profile criminal cases in recent years. The sentencing of Tatsuya Ichihashi for the killing of a young British woman four years ago. Lindsay Hawker's parents were in attendance, having flown out from England to watch the proceedings. The court ordered Ichihashi to spend life behind bars. For Lindsay loved Japan, and you have not let her down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The case of Tatsuya Ichihashi remains a haunting reminder of the tragic loss endured by Lindsay Hawker's loved ones. Whilst justice has been served, the memory of Lindsay's vibrant spirit and promising future lives on, immortalized in the hearts of those who knew and cherished her. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to ring that bell. That's all for now. See you next time.